and welcome to the Lake 98.1 Holiday Parade presented by the Sheboygan JCs. I'm Michael Sager. And I'm Cassie Van Gompel. The theme for the 26th annual Holiday Parade is A Christmas Story. Think of this as a classic Christmas movie that brings laughter and joy to the holiday season. The parade participants consist of both corporate entries as well as non-profit entries. The judges are standing by to take notes at the most festive entries. We award cash prizes to the top three non-profit entries. First place is $150, second place $100, and third place $50. And we award plaques to the top three corporate entries. The winners will be announced at the tree lighting ceremony at the New Public Library following the parade. we will be excited to see how creative each entry is. There are 50 entries this year in the parade. Well, here we are. Let's get started. Hello. Mayor Vanderstein and his wife, Julie. Mike Vanderstein served as president of the Sheboygan JCs in 1977 to 78. Mike was elected as mayor of Sheboygan in 2013 and re-elected for a second term in 2017. Lake 98.1. Lake 98.1 is our official Christmas station of the Lake Shore and is proud to present this year's Lake 98.1 Sheboygan JCs holiday parade. We have our parade marshals. Look, everyone, the mascots from the Sheboygan JC's projects. The Bratmeister from Brat Days, the Easter Bunny from Lunch with Bunny, and Frankenberry from Dominion of Terror. Shoreline Metro Metro Trolley. Shoreline Metro, your premier pr provider of public transportation services in Sheboygan, Sheboygan Falls, and Kohler. Whether it's a trip to the grocery sh store, to work, or to school, Shoreline Metro is your safe, affordable, and reliable travel option. At Shoreline Metro, we're more than transportation option, we're a way of life. Well, the flows were a little bit out of order, so we missed the Sheboygan JCs president, Eric Luke. And, um, well, not only do the JCs organize this parade for our community, but we also provide other events such as Brat Days, Trinity of Taverns, the Bull Run, and the Dominion of Terror Haunted House. The money raised through these projects goes to support the community and other charitable organizations. Membership is open to people ages 21 to 40. Learn more at SheboyganJCs.com. Here we have more Shoreline Metro, more Shoreline Metro Transit. They're all dressed up for the holidays. They're dressed up and decorated for the holidays, yeah. Always in that holiday spirit. I think I hear the Sheboygan South High Cheer loud and clear. The Sheboygan South High Cheer Program is a proud and successful group of student athletes that support South High Athletics in addition to being a competitive cheer program. The co-ed varsity team is reigning co-ed large state champions and placed ninth in the nation at the 2018 UCA National High School Cheerleading Championship held in Disney World. Sheboygan South Cheer would like to wish everyone a safe, merry, and cheerful holiday season. And here's the varsity dance team. Happy holidays from Sheboygan South High School varsity dance team. Oh, the school band's coming up. The Sheboygan South High School band today is playing a holiday medley entitled Santa's Parade. You'll hear a joy to the world and a jazz version of We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Uh, feel free to join the South Bands for a rare concert held this year on Monday, December 10th at 7 p.m. in the South Auditorium. Cost of admission is free. Developing a 
new skill. Girl Scouts prepares girls for a lifetime of leadership. The Lincoln Erdman Girl Scout Troop are collecting paper supplies and personal hygiene items tonight and help those in need during the holiday season. All items will be donated to local area shelters. We got some brownies, we got some junior Girl Scouts. Yeah, they are out and ready to collect. Off camera before, Cassie was just telling me how she still has Girl Scout cookies left. I am super jealous. Maybe you can leave those out for Santa, Cassie. Yeah, I think the Thin Mints are perfect for the holiday season. Oh, here comes Trinity Lutheran Church and School. Trinity Lutheran Church, School, and Child Care has been making known the love of Christ in the Sheboygan community for over 160 years. A Trinity education prepares our students for life beyond our walls. Visit trinitysheboygan.org for more information. Oh, that's quite the float they have. It's decked out and they have a band playing. Beautiful display from Trinity. Sheboygan Dog Training Club. The Sheboygan Dog Training Club has been in existence since 1952 with a focus on teaching owners to have a dog they can live with. With two heated training buildings and two outdoor fenced-in areas, SDTC is a year-round training club owned and operated by its members. Mixed breed or purebred, it doesn't matter. The Sheboygan Dog Training Club is here for you and your dog. They have all sorts of dogs today. I love the dogs in costume. That's, That's great. great. Looks like we have the Wrangler Riders Road Legal Four Wheel Driver <laughs> Drive Association. <laughs> Our Road Legal Four Wheel Drive chapter hosts rides, camps, and workshops. We're the largest 4WD club in the state and span across Southeast Wisconsin. Join us at RL. 4wd.com for monthly events, classes, and more. Well, this Jeep took the Christmas story quite literally. <laughs> they have the leg lamp on there. I didn't even see that, Michael. <laughs> I wonder if they leave them on there. That's a lot of Jeeps. <laughs> I can't tell if that's the Grinch or a guy in a green jumpsuit, but <laughs> either way, Christmas. Pink bunny? <laughs> and we have a second leg lamp. <laughs> Popular item this year. Popular item. Well, I'll be watching from the warmth of your home. It's a, it's a brisk night here for the Sheboygan <laughs> Holiday Parade, but no snow yet. Yeah, no snow, but certainly brisk. <laughs> I'm shaking as I hold my script here. And we have Boy Scout Pack 3821. Pack 3821 is chartered through Holy Name of Jesus and St. Clement's Parishes. They have another great float. Here are all the 
be a scout starting to afraid to, to brave the cold and I'm talking about how I'm shivering over here. Yeah, be prepared for the elements, <laughs> right? Should hang out with Ben and toughen up a little bit. <laughs> See, they got the right idea. They got an armchair. For the dab. And the pig butt. The dab, yeah. <laughs> I see Making Spirits Bright coming down the way. Making Spirits Bright is the seventh year of making the holidays bright for all. It is presented by the Sheboygan County Rotary Clubs. The display of over 40,000 lights is coordinated with music. It is classified as one of the, one of the top light shows in the country. Food donations are welcome and, Sheboy and support Sheboygan County food pantries. Cash donations support future growth of this event. The park is open nightly from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. starting November 23rd to December 31st, excluding December 24th. Each year, new displays or additions to existing displays are added, making it different from the previous year. Making Spirits Bright floats, uh, has examples of some of the lighted igloos, lighted canicans, lighted trees, and lighted stars. All lights are synced to music like in the park. Wow, impressive light shows this year. And speaking of that, here comes Dax Trucking. The Red Giant and local businesses throughout the Sheboygan area are wishing your crystal story is bright. The Red Giant is the world's longest semi-tractor at 45 feet. Features two 11 by 6 foot LED screens on each side, capable of displaying still images, video, and live TV, in addition to a complete sound system. Together with a 53 foot low body race trailer, this semi-rig forms a massive 93 feet of eye-catching attention. The truck is a 1990 Diamond Rio and some notable customized features of the Red Giant include a pair of chrome 1929 Lincoln Continental headlights and four fully operational chrome exhaust pipes. The Red Giant is owned and operated by Brian Dax from Two Rivers. <laughs> Menchie's Frozen Yogurt is a fun place to go for the whole family. Healthy choices of rotating flavors of frozen yogurt and sorbets. Add your favorite toppings and make it special for you. Also selling frozen yogurt cakes. Great for birthday parties, graduation, and any other activity. Menchie's is located on the south side of Sheboygan at the Deer Trace Shopping Center. We are open new until 9 p.m. Stop in for a sweet treat. Next we have the Sheboygan Lakers Figure Skating Club. The Sheboygan Lakers Figure Skating is a nonprofit organization that promotes recreational figure skating to youth through adults. We offer figure skating lessons, synchronized skating teams, and theater on ice. Lessons are Mondays, September through March, and at the Lakers Ice Center. Our annual ice show will be in March. Our Savior's Lutheran Church is an LCMS congregation based on Salt 10th Street and Mead in Sheboygan. Since 1864, Our Savior's has ministered the people of Sheboygan with the life-giving gospel of Jesus Christ through word and sacrament. More information about Our Savior's, uh, about Our Savior's visit oslcssheboygan.com or our Facebook page at Our Savior's Sheboygan. Next we have Pink Hill, Sheboygan County. We are a non 
nonprofit organization serving families of Sheboygan County. We offer, we offer a financial assistance program to families battling diseases that disrupt the family structure. Above that, we are also here to offer love and support and invite people to sign our pink fire truck, John Ty, in the memory and honor of their loved ones. All of the information can be found on Pink Heels Sheboygan County org and on our Facebook page. We are also looking for volunteers, so if you think you have something you can offer, please contact us. The Howard's Grove High School Dance Team is a perennial powerhouse in Division 5 POM at the WACPC State Dance Team Competition. The team has finished in the top three at the WACPC State Dance Team Competition four out of the last five years. The Howard's Grove Dance Team competes in com at competitions throughout the state in preparation of the state competition. This year the team consists of 16 dancers who perform at many Howard's Grove High School home athletic events and compete at various competitions throughout Wisconsin. Van Horn Automotive Group. At Van Horn Automotive Group, our mission is simple. Empower people, amaze customers. We believe that the car shopping experience should be easy, straightforward, and hassle-free. That's why you will always find transparent pricing, quality vehicles, and an incredible selection of vehicles at every Van Horn Automotive Group location. In fact, it's our customer-focused approach that brings drivers back for the second, third, or fourth vehicle. Enterprises Incorporated and the Farm Wisconsin Discovery Center. Newman Enterprises Incorporated semi truck pulling a wrapped 53 foot van trailer. The trailer is wrapped for the new Farm Wisconsin Discovery Center located just south of Manitowoc. Newman Enterprises Incorporated is a locally owned transportation company based out of White Law, Wisconsin, with deep ties in the agricultural community. Owned by Bill and Jenny Newman, we have a flight of 35 trucks. Bill Newman is highly involved with the Farm Wisconsin Discovery Center from its inception. He is proud to have his drivers pull over a half a dozen trailers wrapped displaying the Farm Wisconsin Discovery Center's name. Emmanuel Lutheran Church. Emmanuel Lutheran Church, school, and child care has been a part of Sheboygan community for over 100 years. They offer child care for children through ages 3 and up. They have an accredited school for ages 3 through 8th grade and are part of the Wisconsin School Choice Programs. They offer contemporary worship on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. and traditional services on Saturday at, at 6 p.m. and Sunday at 9.30 a.m. They invite you to join them for this holiday season. And here goes Congressman Glenn Grothman. Glenn Grothman represents the 6th Congressional District, which includes Sheboygan. Re-elected to the third term, Glenn looks forward to bringing Wisconsin's common sense values to Washington. Next up, we have another Girl Scout troop. Girl Scout Troop 6, or 8446. The Sheboygan uh, North Cheer Stunt Team, coached by Stephanie Weber, is a group of 30 cheerleaders. The girls and guys will cheer, jump, stunt, and tumble to support the North High basketball teams this winter. The team you see here also competes around the state against other co-ed cheer teams. Well, Cassie, how about the light displays this year so far? I mean, we've had the, the Jeep Club, that, that the large giant red truck. It's been very impressive this year compared it to other years. It has been. I think I really liked where they were singing and they had the band on the back. I thought that was pretty impressive. Definitely put me in the holiday spirit. Yeah, it's a Trinity Church as well. It's a great display. And the bands. You couldn't see it, but Michael and I were dancing a little bit to some of the, the high school bands coming by. I was and, bouncing a little bit. And here yeah. we have another one. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Uh, the Sheboygan North High, uh, oh, Cheer and Stunt. There the Sheboygan North High Cheer and Stunt team, coached by, oh, coached by Stephanie Weber is a group of 30 cheerleaders. The girls and guys will cheer, jump, stunt, and tell them to support the North High basketball team this winter. Maybe we have a dance team as well. And here comes the marching band. Sheboygan North High School marching band under the direction of Mr. Royal Gingery. Led tonight by senior drum majors Caitlin Mackey and Alicia Ovina.
827. Happy holidays from Cub Scouts Pack 3827, which meets at Wilson Elementary. And they have a dog. I love all these pets that are all dressed up for the holidays. They're decked out, they're lit up. They're wearing Christmas sweaters. So while we're waiting, we can go back to some script that we uh, missed about the Sheboygan North High Dance team. Sheboygan North High Dance program supports more than 45 girls, freshmen through seniors. Both teams can be seen at their respective basketball games as well as various competitions throughout the state. The varsity is coached by Kayla Pittner and the junior varsity by Vicki Routner. Sheboygan has a lot of impressive uh, athletic teams, including their cheer and stunt teams. It sounds like all of them have done work very well in their respective areas. Yeah, even just reading the descriptions for these dance and cheer teams, we have a lot of teams going to state, competing very well. And then, you know, not to mention, I mean, the, the other athletic programs like basketball, football, Sheboygan as a whole is a very impressive athletic program. Here comes Festival Foods. The Festival Foods Big Cart is used for parades, festivals, and special events. It is known as the largest shop shopping cart in Wisconsin. However, not one of a kind. You can find three big carts across Wisconsin, all belonging to Festival Foods. The Festival Foods Big Cart is decorated in holiday spirit with tinsels, candy canes, and snowflakes this holiday season. From all of your friends at Festival Foods, we wish you a happy holiday. And here are the tunes of the Family Radio Network. 91.3, the family broadcast for hope of Jesus Christ to strengthen and encourage listeners. Tune in to the family to hear all Christmas music all December. And you know what? I think the Salvation Army was going, uh, was riding along with Festival Food, so we'll read about them really quickly. Our friends at the Salvation Army are making joyful noise and inviting the community to make change happen by volunteering to ring bells. Sign up at www.registertoring.com. Join Captain Daryl Langieri as he is freezing for a reason at Festival Foods. For five nights, he will be sleeping in the cold to raise awareness of and support for the hurting, hungry, and homeless in our community. Wow. Visit Captain Daryl at the Giant Shopping Cart parked outside Festival Foods December 10th to 14th and show your support this Christmas season. Have a blessed Christmas season. Hey. It's a great partnership between the Salvation Army and Festival Foods. Looks like we have next the Sheboygan Marcus Theaters. The Marcus Sheboygan Cinema is your premier entertainment destination, featuring 13 state-of-the-art auditoriums, each with comfortable dream lounger recliner seating. There's also a super screen DLX concept with a massive screen and Dolby Atmos sound. At Zafiro's Express, known for its thin, credible pizza and more, adds food and beverage options to this theater. Here comes the lit up trolley from Discovery Coach. All aboard for fun on the Discovery Trolley. Our 28 passenger vintage trolleys are ideal for weddings, corporate events, global transfers, and more. Discovery Coach also has 16, 30, 48, and 56 passenger deluxe motor coaches for all your group transportation needs. Discovery Coach is a family owned and operated charter motor coach company serving Sheridan County since 1949. Safe professional drivers and personal service. This is Discovery Coach on Facebook and at Discovery coach.com looks like we have a decked out vw beetle and another one of michael's favorite leg lamps <laughs> the vw club in sheboygan the vw club in sheboygan wishes you a very merry christmas and a wonderful holiday season And here's the Town of Wilson Fire Department and First Responders. Happy Holidays from the Town of Wilson Fire Department and First Responders. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Kids have it. If this isn't a leg lamp, I don't want it. <laughs> a kid just got a, a stuffed pink bunny. Wow. And he's very excited about it. <laughs>
year celebrating our ballet company. Come see the magic of the Nutcracker Ballet at the beautiful Stephanie H. Weil Center in Sheboygan on December 1st and 2nd. Tickets are on sale now. We're standing right by the Weil Center. It's a beautiful space. I think they got the right idea with their flow. They have a blanket and everything. <laughs> yeah, they have a blanket. And a very nice leg display. Very nice. Nutcracker on the back to support their, their upcoming performance. Just like the Nutcracker Ballet. Exactly. Yeah. The crowd's having a great time here tonight. The kids just got a bunch of stuffed animals. I mean, people are feeling the spirit. Oh yeah, there's a lot of light up. There's a lot of light up decorations, and really they do a nice job setting up Sheboygan downtown every year for Christmas. And I think we're just getting started. There are a lot of great floats on the way here. Girl Scout Troop 8175. The Troop 8175 from James Madison Elementary School. Girl Scouts of Manitou is the largest girl serving organization in the Lake Michigan Western Shoreline area. We are committed to ensuring that every Girl Scout in our council has an incredible experience. Today's Girl Scouts lead in a new way, lead by principle rather than pride, step across barriers of class and race every day, seek out the work that needs doing in the world, and bring boundless energy to every challenge. Here comes one of my favorite restaurants in Sheboygan, oh, yeah. Parker John's Barbecue and Pizza. Parker John's Barbecue and Pizza offers delicious food and cocktails seven days a week on the Sheboygan Riverfront. And this wacky, wild, inflatable snowman here is part of Meyer Motors. Meyer Motors is the place to go for your Buick, GMC, or pre-owned vehicle. Stop by our dealership in Plymouth today or visit us online at goldmeyermotors.com. We look forward to assisting you. It's a good thing it's not windy out. We'd end up with an airborne snowman. Yeah. <laughs> see a snowman fly. It's sad to see that we're almost near the end of the parade, Michael. What was almost, your favorite part yeah. so far? My favorite part so far is actually probably that snowman. Yeah? <laughs> I like to see that bouncing around. And of course all the leg lamp decorations. I got a kick out of that. You get it? A kick? That's uh, hilarious. <laughs> not, oh, only one kick though, not, not multiple. Here comes uh, Miller Poor Sigma. Just like elves making toys, Miller Poor Sigma makes a variety of chemicals, over 300,000 to be exact. Located all throughout the world, the nearby site in Sheboygan Falls keeps 400 employees busy manufacturing products that are used in electronics, stains, dyes, flavors, fragrances, and pharmaceuticals. Miller Poor Sigma also hopes to ignite a passion of for science by offering community events to spread the joy of discovery. If you think about science periodically, get it Michael, <laughs> check out a Spark event or visit our website at cometoemd.com. Keep warm, stay curious, and enjoy the chemicus tree. The Happy chemist holiday. tree? <laughs> it's, it's great to see Milpur Sigma has a good sense of humor about the work. They yeah, do. It's good. They do important work and <laughs> make it, they have puns that I can't even pronounce. Uh, Sheboygan Area Credit Union, your neighborhood credit union since 1954, serving all who live or work in Sheboygan County. The credit union is a nonprofit cooperative owned by its member owners. The money you deposit with us goes to help other members who need to borrow money. The credit union parade entry is cut right from the Christmas story, the triple dog area to take out our holiday lawn. Looks like another leg lamp there, Michael, for the city of Sheboygan Municipal Court. Elvis, welcome to your home for the holidays in Sheboygan. <laughs> He is singing hits from his classic Christmas album dressed in his golden vest. The Municipal Court has a mission of providing access to justice to the people of the city of Sheboygan and village of Kohler in a timely and cost-effective manner. Judge Natasha Torrey is handing out copies of the U.S. Constitution as a reminder that our rights are one of the most important gifts of our forefathers. Oh, and don't forget Jim's Royal Heating and Air. Royal Heating and Air Sheboygan wishing everyone happy holidays. 
Our second annual Comfort for Christmas nomination starts December 1st. Please visit our website for details. We're giving away another furnace to a family in need. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice, giving back to the community, especially during such a cold time of year. Another wagon full of candy for the kids. And it is coffee holders or hot chocolate holders. Wow. Oh, it's Jim's rule again. Oh, man, the kids are going crazy over this candy. I didn't know how we went into November this year. <laughs> Next is Precision Floors and Decor. Precision Floors and Decor from Plymouth wishing everyone a holly jolly Christmas as it's the best time of the year. That's for sure. Stop. I like that rain door, rain, reindeer notes on that. <laughs> Christmas movie is Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh, that's classic. You, you gotta watch that one every year. Yeah. Claymation, I think, really <laughs> is the best. And the Bumble actually makes uh, an appearance over at Megan Spears' right if you, if you oh. go through that. I'll have to look out for that when I swing by this year. <laughs> I already have my uh, food donations all lined up. Up next is the National Association of Letter Carriers, Branch 102. Sheboygan with the USPS picking up the letters for Santa. So letters for Santa, if I'm correct, the kids can actually bring up their letters and the post office will take them and make sure they get delivered to Santa every year. Save you some postage, right Michael? <laughs> postage of the North Pole, Pole is cheap. End of the parade. Santa! Santa is accompanied by the Sheboygan JCs. His helpers from the post office are collecting letters from the children so he can get them their presents on Christmas. Merry Christmas! Hey, Santa! for watching the 26th annual Lake 98.1 Holiday Parade presented by the Sheboygan JCs. Happy Holidays to you and yours.
As you know, we have a competition, corporate and nonprofit. It was an awesome competition as well. I actually have the winners for the corporate competition. And they are Precision, Brittany School of Dance, and Dax. I think it's actually da uh, Dax Trucking, I hope. I don't know if any of them are here, but thank you very much for joining us. The winners will receive the, uh, their awards at a later date. And again, thank you very much. And now the uh, winners for the non uh, the nonprofit Wrangler Jeep, which put on an awesome show, by the way. You guys rock. VW Club and Making Spirits Bright. Thank you very much. And now here's the best part that y'all you've been waiting for. Now please help me give a warm welcome to Mike, I mean, wow, Mayor Mike Vandersteen as he will say a few words and we will commence with the lighting ceremony. Thank you very much. Well, good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming out for the 26th Annual JC Holiday Parade. Let's give Kyle and his committee a great hand. They did a super job. Well, now we've got a very important thing to do, and that's light up our, our display here at the Mead Library Plaza for the Christmas season. And I've got a young man in the crowd, Eli. Eli, will you please come down here and give me a hand? Eli was a little bit nervous, so he's bringing his, his assistant along to help out with this. But, you know, th this is something that we've been doing for several years, and it just keeps on getting bigger and better every year. So I want to thank all of you for sticking around after the parade to see this lighting ceremony. Eli? Okay, now we're going to need a little bit of assistance. We have to do a countdown. We're going to start with the number 15 and count down, and then Eli is going to pull the plug and we're going to light up the trees. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 